Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Lilith, Dark, Lost, Mega Satan. Uh, I do have the Holy Mantle unlocked on the Lost now. It's not an uploading videos out of order thing, I actually did it on the stream. Uh, it will be the December 19th, 2015 NLSS. You can find it there. This one will be up, presumably, unless the Twitch uploader farts itself. Mostly you just miss like a pretty normal Judas run. I figured I had to grind out some some runs at some point. So as a as a thank you or an apology for not um, doing that, you know, one where we unlocked Holy Mantle on camera, maybe we will try to do a Lost Mega Satan run today on that stream. Also, yes, on that stream. Also, here's our seed six one seven nine G V Z eight. On that stream, also I had a Lost. Mega Satan run that almost came to fruition, and I really do mean almost. Um, the only thing that stopped us was not getting the second key piece, and we got like eight deals with the devil and one deal with the angels. So um, there was there was some great stuff going on on there. But you may be able to witness the greatness of a lost Mega Satan run in this video, or maybe not. But we're gonna give it a shot. Um, a lot of a lot of theory crafting. Does the lost with Holy Mantle actually make the lost too easy? Maybe, uh, it, it honestly, like, it only took me 10 minutes or so to engineer a run that was capable of seemingly beating Mega Satan. Um, yes, Ruka, hello, what's, what's the problem? You got an issue? Here's a tissue, mister. Um, but, that's okay, it's still a little bit of a challenge, is it not? We'll still try. I, I would still, it's probably harder than beating, uh, Mega Satan with Lilith. It, it might actually be, Mega Satan might be harder on the Lost then, you know, even you would expect it to be proportionate to the, the skills that you start with as a loss because of the fact that you can't do self-sacrifice room bullshit to cheat the system, so... Um, we're, we're kind of stuck here. Alright, yes, hello. My friend. My cat. Calvin Klein. My cat's name is not Calvin Klein. That is a pretty dope name for a cat, though. What are you- okay, you jumped up on my desk, what the heck are you gonna do now? There's nowhere else for you to go! I mean, it's, it's just all sparkling water bottles and important documents up here right now. Which reminds me that I really need to clean my desk. There's not even a place for you to sit down. If you sit down on my keyboard and end my run, oh, don't even think about it. There you go. That's pretty close. He's near the mouse. I don't use the mouse to play Isaac. We're set. I mean, not on this run, but I got it. Bumbo's pretty good, but we gotta we gotta actually get the ability for Bumbo to get some some coins. You know, I'm sure it'll happen at some point. Uh, we should explore as well to try to find a. Uh, not a tinted rock, although that wouldn't necessarily hurt, but a uh, curse room. I knew it was something with uh, two words. A bomb. Hello, my cat friends. Secret room? Yeah, there we go. Bumbo. Oh, this is like the world's worst secret room for a lost run. I mean, the bombs are fine. The chest is fine. We got a bunch of red hearts and raw fucking liver. Do you even take raw liver? I mean, on the one hand, I'm like, why not? But on the other hand, I'm like, well, what does it give us if we take it? Nothing, so... Kind of seems like we shouldn't. Uh, I would totally play the shit out of our donation machine to try to level Bumbo up a bit. I do recognize that some stages of Bumbo can drop bombs. Those bombs could be dangerous to my health. Go get the money. I don't even know what this, you know, Golden Heart does for us in this situation. How's it going? You watching the preview monitor? Oh, who's a good kitty? Who's watching the preview monitor? You can tell me when someone resubscribes. Unlikely to happen over the course of a YouTube video, but it could. Wouldn't be the first time. Bumbo, this money's for you, bud. Oh, okay, that mouse pointer is my cat sitting on the screen. Or not- Hey! hey get out of there, you dingo! You clicked on my taskbar! Just when you were getting comfortable. That's cat problems, man. Cats, there's there's never good enough for cats. It's always just like, this is okay for about two seconds. Now I'm sick of it. All right, let me just go rest on your keyboard. Oh, do I did I lay on Control-Alt-Delete and accidentally... Oh, God! Did I lay on Control-Alt-Delete and accidentally delete your System 32? I know that's not the shortcut to delete System 32. I'm just saying. There's a non-zero probability that that could happen. I really do want to take out these nubs. At the same time, I also want to, you know, keep myself away from utter oblivion. Probably the easiest way to do that is just be cool. Keep your heart three stacks. Keep your heart. These bosses are smart. 
play your cards. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Bumbo, if you could do some attacking, that would be awesome. This is a four minute first floor. I'm not too into that. Also, I can't take any deal with the devil items because of the fact that we're going to uh, fight Mega Satan. I'm also not going to be too invested in a reroll opportunity here. I think having Holy Mantle is the best we can do. Um, in all reasonableness, at least, which is not really a word. Um, in all reasonability, that sounds more accurate, more apt, at least. Uh, I would panic reroll if I have to, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Key for a bomb. That's fine. It's no key for a Sutherland, but it's okay. Let's drop a bomb in there. Am I safe here? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. There we go. Sorry, Bumbo. Another bomb for a key. Thank you. We got, uh, actually walking a little bit Bumbo now. I don't know if that's his official name, but that's what I'm gonna call him when I mark it in for the Christmas line. Need something like thir Ooh, pooping out keys. Thank you very much. Need something like 30 cents to get Bumbo max level? He's, he's making progress. Well, we'll find out on this run. We've had him early, so we'll see. All right, regular version of Monstro. Nothing to worry about. Just the big thing is, like, don't get pegged by a shot early on. If you get hit by a shot with, like, 80% of his HP gone, you got the confidence that you're going to carry yourself the rest of the way. If you take a shot, you know, 5% into the fight, anything can happen. Of course, anything can literally happen either way, but it's, you know, mostly about tricking your brain into thinking that you're in a better position because you got less, you know, less space for standard deviation to, you know, rear its ugly head. So hopefully we get a deal that we can ignore. I mean, we're definitely going to get a deal we can ignore. We're playing as the Lost. And that would have been an awesome item be to be able to take. But this, we got, you know, higher aspirations right now. By the way, with, with Holy Mantle, surviving one or two floors as the Lost is no longer, like, even noteworthy, to be honest with you. Which is not me saying it's necessarily too easy. It's just me saying it's certainly a different value proposition than it used to be. Like, this now feels like, you know, it's par for the course. Okay, dokie. Um, well, we'll try this. No money. Those guys have been paying out like less and less often. Although now that I think about it, it's probably tied to your luck stat, right? And your luck stat is the lost is like hot garbage, I think. So maybe that's what we're uh, that's what we're experiencing there. Three dollar bill. Scary, but also potentially okay. Oh, Bumbo. Oh, Bumbo. Uh, we will go to our curse room as well. I just want Bumbo to hit a level where if I get Nod Leaf, I win instantly. <laughs> Does Bumbo give us anything, by the way, against Mega Satan? I don't think so. I think I think he might do no damage to Mega Satan. Although he would help out with the uh, enemies that Mega Satan would spawn in the meantime. No question about that. Spiders. This is a dangerous room because if we get hit, you know, we're actually going to die. Not in real life, but uh, we'll, we'll die for the moment here. Uh, on this lost run and have to start another one For now though, let's continue moving. I people are also gonna be on my butt about whoa uh, That was dangerous fucking three dollar bill. I just realized Hive or not hive mind fire mind is gonna be a real danger for us But um, people are gonna be on my butt to look for a black market You can't be stoked about getting a black market if you're trying to get mega Satan as the lost if you get dad's key You can take anything but um, uh, oh, I'm sorry Bumbo uh, a black market uh, as the lost trying to get Mega Satan through angel statues can't be done. You're gonna give yourself a um, you're gonna give yourself precedent. As soon as you pay red hearts for a deal, it counts as having deal with the devil precedent. So, kiss your uh, angel rooms goodbye. Unfortunately, Perthro is worth holding, uh, especially. I mean, we'll use it whenever it's relevant, but. Especially worth uh, using for, uh, you know, a shitty angel room. You know, reroll something we have no interest in into uh, maybe a godhead. Of course, that's like a very perfect world scenario, but only in dreams you see what it means, etc., etc. Keep yourself away. If we get hit by one of these guys, it doesn't matter too much. It's only if we get hit twice that it's a really big deal. Damage is acceptable. At least it seems okay. I kind of like the idea of this Hermit card. To teleport us uh, into a potential... Uh, or teleport us out, out of a potential boss fight. Boss rush, I guess I should say. But I'm going to stay away from it for now. 
$3 bill has the potential to be awesome or horrifying for us. Like, having 2020 or, you know, Death's Touch on some of these rooms is, is amazing. But there's also a, a fairly huge potential for it to all go completely wrong. Depending on what, uh, what tier effects we actually do get. So far, so good, though. We've even got bombs ready for our angel statues, which is extremely important. This guy splits into two. Wow, it took two mom's uh, contact setups to even start to approach lethal uh, lethal damage there. Sorry, my voice is kind of shot today. I've already done um, a couple videos and uh, the NLSS as well. I need to give it a little bit more rest. This is my last one for the day. And then I'll just go to a heavy metal concert and scream all night. That's not true. I'm not going to a heavy metal concert. Not that there's anything wrong with it, of course. I'm just not going to one tonight. Probably gonna say maybe I'll watch uh, some of the older Star Wars films again tonight. Haven't seen The Force Awakens yet because that involves leaving your house, which is not uh, always on the docket for me. More red hearts. You know, truth be told, we haven't run into that many red hearts. I'm not gonna, you know, freak out too much. Oh, game's trying to fuck me. Now we got Bumbo, and you start with Holy Mantle. This is a pretty good setup. Awas rune. Awas rune. I think we just use it to try to get a crawl space. I mean, our best case scenario is a crawl space, free item. Cricket's head is hugely valuable here. Pretty much, you know, one of the big reasons I actually open uh, golden chests on the regular. Now we got a next level Bumbo. He's trapped in the rocks, Bumbo. I could stay awake just to hear. Oh, wow, why was I freaking out if Bumbo's just gonna actually get out himself? All right, well, we could skip to the next level, but I don't think that's that uh, relevant of a strategy anymore. It was. It was back when um, it was actually difficult to to survive a floor as the Lost, but now it's just, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's necessarily super easy, but it's, it's not that difficult. Let's give it a try here. Just one boss on this floor. We spawned a coin somehow. It was really nice to not get hit there. Bumbo's taking some shots of his own. Um, I say it was really nice to not get hit there for the same principle that I was talking about earlier, basically, which is that, you know, the, the longer it goes until we take damage, the better off we are. Because it, it's just good for your confidence, you know? More money there. I still don't know, occasional, like, head of the keeper shots that don't actually look like pennies. Is that what's happening there, or, or what? Okay, we're gonna be fine on this fight. There's actually two boss fights. I forgot it was an XL floor. Oh, shit, okay. Be cool. Ah, we got him. It was close. Not close to dying, but close to the end there, but we got him. And our Tinted Rock does not give us small rock. Just wanted to... I, I was very, very confident we were not going to um, not get our Holy Mantle charge back, but I just wanted to make sure, you know? Even if you're 100% sure of something, sometimes you find yourself second-guessing. This is bullshit. Okay, we're, we're alive. Actually, the stain is going to go down without hitting us in all likelihood here. Ooh, a little scary. No angel statue. Oh, this is like a carbon copy of the last run scaring me a little bit. Still two item rooms to go here, and experimental treatment takes us a little closer to spun. I also feel like actually experimental treatment made us a lot better. Um, I mean, presumably so did Cat of Nine Tails, and now I'm just getting a chance to experience it against enemies that are not so tanky. But still, almost went for the reroll there accidentally. I, I know I've talked about, you know, you want to reroll in a Nod Leaf. That could still be valuable on this uh, setup, but I think starting with the Holy Mantle means that maybe you don't want to reroll uh, as aggressively. But also, I, I do still think you hold R until you find at least an item that you think is half decent. I'll go back for that. Because you, you still want to maximize your chances. I mean, it's still not necessarily a super easy thing to do. I know people have been doing Lost Streaks, but... Uh, you know, let me ask them if, if they had to play for their life. Would they rather play as the Lost or would they rather play as uh, as any other character in the game? Except the Keeper. Okay. Well, I have to admit, the idea of a uh, blank card per throw is interesting. Is this max level Bumbo? I think this is max level Bumbo. So stop eating my coins, you, you layabout. He'd shit out a bomb, you jerk! If that ends up killing me, I'm gonna be real salty. Um, but I did that. Now that we've got max level Bumbo, I did that so we have a passive source of damage if we just wanna hang out on the other side of the map. We got something going on there. Um, blank card per throw does interest me. Abel does not. If we can get the money for blank card per throw, I'd be in. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all there is to really say about that, I guess. I do need to keep a bomb. So that we can kill the angel statue. I don't know if we can just wait for Bumbo to shit one out. Maybe it'd work, maybe it wouldn't. So one more bomb or a, uh, a few pennies will probably seal the deal here from a financial standpoint. That's good. Two of hearts is not good for us. Child's heart is meaningless. What's the matter, Bumbo? These enemies are a little too fast for you? Our final item room is... Oh, there we go. I don't really like this, so I think I'm going to wait for blank card per throw. I should have blank card per throw to uh, Abel, now that I think about it, especially with all these battery charges back here, but uh, let's let's just go get it. Is there anything else we wanted to reroll? I don't believe so. Honestly, it's going pretty well. Do we see? Is that our secret room? What's it's like a big secret room up there? Or is that just a spot on the map? No, it's definitely the secret room. Ah, oh, then well worth the investment. Don't get me wrong, you know, uh, Black Candle could be a pretty good pickup in its own right, but I'm going to do blank card per throw here. We got three rerolls that we can use right away. I got to admit, a little disappointed we haven't fought the Angel statue yet. Not just a little disappointed, a little scared even. Because that means uh, we may not have the greatest chance to uh, get the key pieces done. But you know, a, a Mega Satan run, even if it's not in the cards for us, a lost victory is a lost victory. I'd be happy with it. Come back here, reroll marked, obviously. That's not dead eye, right? Yeah, that's marked. Rerolled again. Common cold is good enough for me to be like, okay, let's take it. It's not great. Poison's not an amazing status effect, but it's good enough for me to, to move onwards here. Um, we'll just, we'll take it down to the next floor here. So far, so decent. Right, Ruka? So far, so decent. Nothing really to write home about here, but uh, nothing to, you know, not writing home sometimes is good. It means you're not writing home to say like, hey, mom, I need more money, you know? Or like, Mama just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Like, that's a letter that you wouldn't want to open if you're a parent. Rate of fire is really good. Getting closer towards spun. Still, like, kind of laser focus here. Just just eat it and see what you get. I want. I, maybe I can take you to the next level, I don't know. I don't want to go into this room until we have a charge ready, just in case we get something awesome. I don't think you can get a higher level Bumbo, but if we're not going to be using the money anyway, maybe we should just let him take it. It's not like we want the stopwatch or anything. We're doing a lot of damage. I know I said I'd wait for a charge. Apparently that just goes completely out the window. Yeah, being able to one-shot these enemies feels quite nice. Poison and holy stuff, or not holy stuff, uh, fire mine does stuff against these, uh, zombies. What do you think? Do you want to touch that? Touching, touching that scares me a little bit, I gotta admit. I don't want, I don't like the idea of touching that. It shouldn't hurt us because we have holy mantle, but, you know, I, this would be a bad way to find out. I know in Savage Gardens, you know, ooh, I want you, I don't know if I need you, ooh, I'd die to find out. I don't think that's a good situation for us. I wouldn't die to find out what they're trying to teach me here. Fate's Reward, you know, it's not amazing, I think, but uh, I'll, I'll take it for now. Balls of Steel. Perks. Perks is not useful for us, uh, unfortunately. But there are situations in which it would be if we were playing as other characters, which is why I, originally I went perks, but no, it's not really what we need to... What we need to have. Perks. It's something that you need to have. Because if she leave your ass, she gonna leave with half. That's what I always say. You know what? Probably should have rerolled Fate's Reward. Not used to having uh, Blank Card Per Throw. That's fair to say. We might even have a chance to get into and then out of Boss Rush. Just take out the... Take out his friends here. I don't think I got hit there. But I'm a little scared. That maybe I did. And that one familiar that he created can't be killed until everything else is dead. That's a cruel joke right now. Apparently can't be killed until the animations are done either. Little Gish, you're getting a ton of familiars here. Good, uh, I was hoping that was a Krampus fight. Because apparently I just keep getting deals with the uh, devil, despite really desperately now, and I do mean desperately, needing a deal with the angel. 
I didn't take any special, like, devil deals. I didn't pay money for any deals. As far as I can recall, so it's basically just luck kind of fucking us right now. Keys keep on passing me by. I haven't heard the far side in a while. So it's, uh, that's not true. It's been like a day and a half. Well, I don't really want to do boss rush. We've already done lost boss rush. Come on, teleport me to the angel room. That's not going to happen here. I hate, actually, when enemies go invisible and then get confused, because you have no idea where they at. Did I just say, like, unironically, you have no idea where they at? I apologize for that. That's not normally the way that uh, my diction manifests itself. I normally consider myself quite an, an, uh, a well-spoken, articulate young man, and uh, I don't know where that came from. I apologize to the High Etiquette Society of uh, Southeast Vancouver for that. You always gotta add in a, a two-part direction, otherwise it doesn't count. Uh, what do you think? I think we'd fucking go for it, dog. I think we say fuck the item room, maybe try to reroll into something outrageously good on boss rush. And I know that would mean we'd have to do boss rush. I'm open to the idea, if if they can make it worth my while, and with the Perthro, there's a chance it could be made worth my while. Nod Leaf, max level Bumbo, might not get Mega Satan, but there's a win, you know, resting in there. Gotta give it a shot. Certainly not an ideal situation. I'd much rather just have a key piece. I really can't... <laughs> can't stomach the idea of having two lost uh, victories in a row. Unfortunately, none of these are good enough, but they're all half decent. If I could teleport out, I'd be all over Parasite here. Same, like, Spoonbender, Serpent's Kiss. Well, Super Serpent's Kiss doesn't do too much for us, but... Yeah, you know, we tried. Um... I can't stomach the idea of getting two lost victories in a row and then having uh, neither of them really work towards my completion because of the fact that I just didn't get the key pieces. Some people, as they've been watching, they watched the stream where I was doing uh, the lost run that was really good and had a, a genuine chance to beat Mega Satan if I'd gotten the second key piece. And they were like, well, you know, this is why the deal with the angel mechanic for Mega Satan is stupid. I'm starting to kind of agree, and for someone who's normally as diplomatic as me to say, like, I think this game mechanic is stupid is, like, it feels un unnatural for me. Especially in a game that I obviously quite like, would love, basically. Um, but it does, because it's so unreliable, like, you're relying on RNG. Ooh, a little dangerous. You're relying on RNG to such an extent that it can get a little frustrating. And uh, it doesn't make it a bad game, but I think it's a mechanic that could use a little extra attention. Because, you know, nobody likes to... Well, I, I mean, it's not so bad now that you can play the loss multiple times and not be like, Oh, this is hard and I hate it, but... Uh, at the same time, it's like, I deserve this one! <laughs> if, if it had been a deal with the Devil Run... You know, if I'd gotten the the consumable or the whatever symbolic artifact I need from the deal with the devil, this run would have been a win, even if I wasn't able to take deal with the devil items, which is what makes it kind of frustrating, I guess. Like, if we don't get a deal with the angel on this floor, we pretty much just have to commit to making it a, uh, like a chest victory. I'm not going to be salty to get a win as the lost, if it, or even a, a late loss as the lost. As the lost. Uh, if we manage to make that happen, I think that's pretty positive, but, um, I'm not going to be, uh, not gonna be as thrilled as I would be, and I'll, I'll always feel like there's an asterisk on this run of like, oh, well, you know, we really had a good chance at it, but it got blown because of, you know, weirdo game mechanics. I'll tell you, the Lost must be a little easier now, because I find myself not at all afraid to use, uh, are you a wizard on these rooms. That would not have happened before. Okay. Oh, well, that's an interesting start to this room. Bumbo, can you just kill other dude here? Thank you. Little Spooky. Little Spooky, great name for like a, you know, horror's little Bow Wow. Nice. That guy had to go. I have faith in you, Bumbo. Alright, this is a big one. I trust this deal with the Angel will be here. Death is not a super easy fight. We are kind of slow as well. Like, 
I'm really starting to, to notice that, but um, as long as we can get a deal with the angel here, all slowness is forgiven. That's a flippin' deal with the devil! At least give me a Krampus fight or something. So I'm not, I'm still not taking deals with the, uh, deals with the devil because there's a theoretical possibility we could get a joker card on the cathedral. We could get a joker card on the chest and then fight the angel statues. But for now, I'm kind of like, oh, this is bullshit, dog. I will say, this run right here has opened my eyes to the idea of, you know, maybe I'm kind of capable of doing lost streaks as well. Like, this is not a bad run at all. It's a pretty good run. But we're holding it down here. Maybe lost streaks are, like, semi-viable semi here. So I'm, I'm opening these because red chests can teleport you to the deal with the devil or angel. Hopefully it would be angel at this point. Because, you know, closer than my peeps you are to me, baby. Life is one big party when you're still young. Uh, who has something, something, something Shaggy's diction? Been a while since I did my Shaggy impression. Everyone, everyone made fun of me because it sounds like Meatwad. Something like that. Closer than my meat you are to me, baby. Alright. Losing my mind slowly. Between this and all those bullshit greed mode runs where the donation machine broke in two seconds, this is what I say to people who's oh, NL always gets carried. NL always gets carried. Where's my luck now? Oh, we don't we don't acknowledge it when you have bad luck. We pr we purge that from our memory to you know fulfill our narrative of assuming that you always have good luck. Sure, let's reroll all consumables on the ground, except that one because it's important. Um, yeah, whatever. Hit me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. This guy could telefrag me. Nice. We live. I like rooms with three enemies, because you're like, as long as I only get hit by like the second one, I'm probably okay. Can't tell if that's a tinted rock. It's nestled in there too tightly. And these bumbo bombs, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, or like, I guess I should say knock on wood here, but they've never really fucked me. That one was my own fault. That was uh, fire mine, not bumbo bombs. This is all good as long as you never miss. Oh, holy shit, we didn't get hit there. How does that happen? We still got holy mantle. Bumbo's going buck wild. I almost feel like we do fight Hush. Why not, right? There's a chance we might get Dad's key from one of the chests. Am I being facetious? No, I'm not being facetious. I think that's one of the very unlikely but still plausible ways we could get through this. Get Dad's key from one of the fucking chests or item rooms. I know. Is it stupid? It's very stupid. But we gotta throw whatever we have at the wall right now. Finally, we have a, a, a trinket that actually works for us. Go ahead, go ahead, Bumbo. More options is meaningless now. I will... Nah, go ahead. You can take it. The moon. Don't know what that does for us here. So we got nothing of value out of those, really. Monstro's Lung seems like a very takeable item, so if we're re-rolling an item room, it's gotta be this one. Oh, but Sad Bombs is so good, too! Especially because Bumbo keeps throwing down bombs. Not to mention, Holy Shot is pretty good, too! I still have to try to get Dad's key. So I think we take Sad Bombs because Bumbo's holding it down for us. And then we re-roll Monstro's Lung. I know this is ridiculous. Well, if we're gonna re-roll something, we should re-roll... Oh, that just took an item away, you dingo! Oh, we got little Gertie. Okay, I mean, it was stupid of me. Let's be honest, we probably weren't getting Dad's key regardless. But still, that was dumb. You can't, like, buy Dad's key, right? Oh, but BFF is, like, non-negotiable. I hate playing with, like, probability in situations like this. Because there will always be people who are like, If you just re-rolled two of them, you would have actually gotten it. And you're like, well, okay. If you can prove it with the seed, then by all means, man. That's what I figured would happen there. Uh, okay. BFF is huge here. All we gotta do is not get hit twice. No problem. Alright. Bumbo, you gotta aggro in there. He's making it. It's taking a little while. He's making a list. 
Checking it twice. Never mind, he never plays nice. Bumbo's gonna fuck up your day. I have been hit once. I think we'll probably die on this hush fight. Oh, what? I didn't even see that shot. You know, look. There's a throw in there, but I think the ultimate throw was we never got angel statues. And I didn't get to finish my Santa Claus is Coming to Town reskinned as Bumbo's gonna fuck up your day. But for now, thanks for watching. I apologize for that. I did what I could. Uh, I wouldn't have been in that hush fight if we'd gotten angel statues. That's even one probably I wouldn't have done. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, uh, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.